Hello, and welcome to the AB Mari Bake Lab. My name is Scott Wise. Here in the Bake Lab, we work to provide solutions to bakeries across North America. Today, let's talk about yeast. We're going to be going over fresh yeast, instant dry yeast, and active dry yeast. Baker's compressed yeast requires refrigerated storage to preserve its strength. Upon arrival at the bakery, yeast should be immediately placed in a refrigerator and held at its ideal temperature between 35 and 45 degrees Fahrenheit. Proper air circulation between spaced cartons is important to maintain the baking strength of the yeast. When stored properly, yeast will maintain its activity for at least three weeks. Yeast should be kept cold and in its package until it's ready to be used. Do not remove the wrapper until just before the yeast is about to be used to prevent air burn, which causes dark corners and edges. To maximize performance, only remove as much yeast from the refrigerator as you will use in the next 30 minutes. Instant yeast does not require refrigeration to maintain yeast activity. Instant yeast is vacuum packaged and is hard until the seal is broken, at which point the yeast becomes free flowing. Store in a cool, dry area. For maximum shelf life, storage temperatures should be less than 70 degrees Fahrenheit. Open packages should be rolled down tightly and stored under refrigeration to minimize moisture pickup, which may result in activity loss. Add directly to the flour and dry mix for 30 to 60 seconds prior to adding the liquids. Use approximately one pound of instant yeast for every three pounds of fresh yeast. Normally, Dough prepared with instant yeast requires two pounds of additional water for each one pound of instant yeast. Warmer final dough temperatures are recommended when using instant yeast to obtain fermentation results similar to fresh yeast. The difference between instant yeast and active dry yeast is that active dry yeast needs to be hydrated before addition to the dough. Active dry yeast should be allowed to temper to room temperature prior to rehydration. For best results, rehydrate the yeast for five to 10 minutes with at least four times its weight in warm water, approximately 105 degrees Fahrenheit. The water temperature should never be lower than 90 degrees Fahrenheit and never higher than 110 degrees. Once the yeast has been hydrated, it can be used similarly to fresh compressed yeast. It's important to remember to subtract the amount of water used for hydration from the formula. When converting fresh compressed yeast to active dry yeast, an additional one or two pounds of water should be used for each pound of active dry yeast. Mixed time reductions of 10 to 20% are commonly found when using active dry yeast. AB Mari is an industry leader in providing high quality fresh and dry yeast for a variety of baked products. Our Baker's Best fresh compressed yeast and instant and active dry yeast can contribute excellent quality to your baked goods. I hope we have provided insight into yeast technology. For more information about our Baker's Best product line or for assistance with an issue at your bakery, please contact a customer service representative today.